Today's video is brought to you by The Cold Plunge. Use discount code DAVE150 at checkout at thecoldplunge.com. Immediately save $150 off your purchase. That's DAVE150 at thecoldplunge.com. There's also a link below this video. This question comes from Susan. Good morning, Wendy. I just started training for an Ironman, and I'm following your Couch to Ironman training program. That's 32 weeks long. And on my first run, which was 20 minutes, it was very light. It was on the treadmill. And I noticed the next day, my knees, my back, my hips are really tired. And I'm supposedly, that's just a really big sign of weakness. I'm now in my 50s. And the last Ironman I've done, or the last, the last triathlon she's done was 10 years ago. She knew it was going to be hard, but she didn't expect to feel this beat up after a 20 minute run. So she's asking what she should do and if this will change. So thanks for asking the question. And it's not uncommon to experience muscle soreness and discomfort, especially when you're just getting back into training after a period of inactivity. I recently, 33 weeks ago, broke my patella and I had six weeks of non-weight bearing. And then it wasn't for a few more weeks, really a couple more months that I really didn't start training. So I'd say I had a good six, four to six months off. And even though I was pretty fit going into my surgery, I could tell the effects of the muscle loss, the inactivity and everything I was experienced kind of coming off the couch again to a training plan. So I understand the discomfort that you're coming in, coming from. So just wanted to share some tips is is make sure you follow the plan. It's definitely a, a progressive plan increasing intensity and volume over 32 weeks. So don't feel like you have to do more than what we planned out for you. And it's okay to do a little bit less. If running is hard on your tendons, ligaments, and muscles, incorporate some walking breaks within your 20 minute run. So that 20 minutes is again, a general time frame. So if you want to just do 20 minutes of a run walk ratio, maybe one minute run, one minute walk, or if you do want a total 20 minutes of running and you want to do a one minute run, one minute walk, extend it to 40 minutes. So you get 20 minutes total time of running into the plan. Number two, definitely incorporate some strength and mobility into your plan. Start with the mo mobility exercises. Focus on the areas between your hips and your shoulders, front and back. That's your core with basic exercises. And we do provide recommended movements within your training plan. So don't neglect that at all. Um, and then progress on to more um, traditional strength training where you're in the weight room or you're just doing body weight movements like push-ups, squats, some sort of pull-up, and um, other exercises depending on if you're going to go to the gym and use equipment or not. Also, you know, you may be dehydrated. So dehydration can cause extra muscle soreness, stiffness after a training session. So definitely look into your diet, keep a diet, or I don't like to say diet, keep a nutrition log to see what and how much you're eating and drinking throughout the day and see if you you need to adjust that. Maybe you're not fueling enough during your day with the added increase of training now into your, your daily routine. So that's definitely something you want to look at. Um, also, making sure you're getting plenty of sleep. The, the nutrition component is going to help with your recovery, but there's nothing like a good night's sleep that's going to even enhance your recovery even more. And so you wake up less sore and less stiff. And just know over the course of the training, your body's going to adapt to the training load. It's progressive. It's not, it should not be too much too soon. If it is for you, just it's okay to back off a little bit and just know over time, the more you you train in that lower intensity volume that the training plan is giving you, the 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 chances are higher that your body's going to adapt. So you don't necessarily want to not train the next day because you're tired and sore. The great thing about being a multi sport athlete is that the next day you're after a run, you're either cycling or swimming, and so. The cross training is definitely going to help ease the soreness that you're experiencing with running. And a few other things, um, maybe again, if you're part of a gym, do some yoga, 
do some some class movements so you can learn a little bit more about stretching, core stability, mobility with yoga or Pilates or other classes that you can take. And just um, listen to your body, keep the log of how you're feeling. Those subjective details are great. So you can look back on them and see how far you've come versus looking ahead and seeing how far you have to go. And I wish you the best of luck in your Ironman in the next 32 weeks. And, you know, shoot me an email if you have any more questions, or I'd love to hear any updates on your progress. Make it a great day. Today's video is brought to you by The Cold Plunge. Use discount code DAVE150 at checkout at thecoldplunge.com. Immediately save $150 off your purchase. That's DAVE150 at thecoldplunge.com. There's also a link below this video.